Pipe down. Tired of your whining. Getting smells like blood and death. I wonder what I've stumbled the upon. The cargo ought to be nearby. Back off, pigeon! This is my bridge, and I don't suffer fools on it. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. Didn't hear me the first time, Parrot! He smiles a jagged and magnanimous grin. Each pitchfork-pointed tooth seems to threaten you individually. We'll see. You want to cross my bridge? He rubs his leathery hands together with glee. <laughs> sure, sure. One regular prized bridge crossing coming right up. And I don't want to hear any whiny little baby noises about it either. I think not. Pay up, cuckoo. His eyes narrow to glinting slits, and a deep laugh shakes his whole frame. <laughs> there is one thing. The competition. Take out my competition, and I could waive the usual fee. A little magpie feather named Mog. He's not fit to be a bridge keeper. He took over the other bridge across, and he's too cheap. I can't compete with his ridiculous prices. That's a little non-committal, but I'll take what I can get around here. Grog drags a rough map in the dust of the bridge with one claw. He then spends an inordinate amount of time sketching a highly vulgar doodle of this Marge he wants you to take care of. There. Now, for the moment, you'll need to back off. No pay, no stay.
This must be the wreck of the Peacemaker. Some of her cargo may remain. Bet you're the musical sort. You ever thought about taking up the loot? I got a few ready to go, all freshly strung. <laughs> well, that's one kind of melody. I'll give you that. Everyone's got tune in them. You just gotta look. My brother Laszlo couldn't carry a tune in a bucket when he were a wee thing. Now he's got the voice of an angel. He's he's all right then, yeah. I am so pleased just where he's walking and talking. Ain't no surprise he'd be suffering the blues. But that'd never squash his spirit. I hate the Magisters for what they've done. Stole me brother. Stole me heart. I keep going though. Hoping to get to Ark sooner than later. Lucian's day crowds will be wanting some musical trifles. Useful? Ah, you mean deadly. Used to make bows and fletch arrows, but left that hobby behind. Hmm, maybe it's true what you say. Never seen a boy with a flute lead in a line of bewitched rats, for sure. Come back later, then. I need a bit of time to carve something useful. Ugh, mating season. Again. 
If I have to deal with one more buck looking to court me, I'll take a chunk out of his ear. You look so tired, so careworn. Come, rest. Leave me. If a brave warrior, dear noble wolf, rest now. Stay with me a while. A great pounding suddenly erupts in your chest. Your inner god roars and bellows, an incoherent, maddening cacophony. It is awful how he treats you. He asks so much and gives so little in return. I am the only one who cares. He will say otherwise. He always does. And in the end, he'll betray you. Don't play his game. Think of yourself. Rest here. The sun is golden. No one will bother you. This moment can last forever, if you let it. A sudden weariness washes over, bone deep and as irresistible as a strong current. The fatigue ebbs away, then surges back. Shh, don't fight it. This is how it's supposed to be. Sleep now. When you wake, it will be in a new world, a beautiful world. <sighs> I only wanted to give you rest, not pain. Now I leave you to my children. They are many. They are impatient. They lack my gentle touch. I am sorry, truly.
Here be witchery. Trespass not. Oh, my God, you're ugly. You turn milk green and a magister's red coat black. My mistress Alice might fancy you, though. She has a taste for the odd. If she ever makes it back. The magisters with the red coats chased her into the woods. They'll be sorry. I need to get clever with this lock. Good find. Smells of lavender and charred flesh. It's almost homely. Almost. Is that her eye? Did she pluck out her own eye? a bit there. I'm not feeling very well. Shush me, Geraldine. I'll talk to whomever I like. Shh, they're still here. I know they're still here. My apologies for my idiot friend, but we could really use your help. You won't believe it. He won't believe it, Mabel. He'll think we're mad cows. The truth is, kind sir, that we are not, in fact, cows. At least not as such. We're people. Captives, to be exact. Enslaved by the witch. Uh, you're not here to visit Alice Elysian, are you? So will you help us? He won't help us. Look at him. Can barely help himself. Yes, sir. Please help us. Mabel, he can hear us whispering. I know, Jordan. I know. Now shut up. Look, we really do need your assistance. Just get us something to drink. What my friend here means to say, kind sir, is that there's a cure for our condition. Alice Elysian has it in her house. If we could drink it, we could then regain our former forms, as it were, and steal away. Don't mention the rats. For God's sake, Geraldine. What rats? They're just ordinary rats. Nothing special or awful about them at all. Wouldn't let them worry you. The witch ain't here. What my friend wishes to say is that Alice went into the Cloisterwood collecting herbs and hasn't been seen in some time. But that there, just down the way, is her house. She has a frog. You can't miss it. Would you mind awfully procuring for us a small potion that Alice Elysian keeps in her cellar? We'd rather like to, you know, assume our rightful forms and toddle off. Thanks ever so. Thank the gods. I humbly thank you. You won't regret it. Don't be disgusting. We hardly know you. Sure. Geraldine, 
Oh, right, yeah. Disgusting. Sorry, better not. Finest day for a wee saunter through the trees it is too. Not even any void woken left to spoil it. Isn't a healthy business environment just wonderful? Grog and his pathetic bridge give me just the little kick of competition I need to improve my service. And increase my prices. Marge bats his eyelashes at you. You can't quite tell whether he's serious or not. Hey, what? After all we've been through together? Truly, who has the finer bridge here? You should be working on eliminating the weakest link. Which, in case it isn't crystal clear, is Grog. Well, good. Oh. Just the best. Just the bee's knees, really. I've made more money today than in the last month combined. Thanks to a group of magisters who were in such a hurry they didn't have time to haggle. Some sorcerer who fled by earlier. And she paid a handsome toll too. Glory, what a marvellous day. Whoa, not so fast. I do try to be nice about it and all that. But this bridge is Marge's business. Since it is such a fine day, I can let you pass at a discount if you entertain me with tales of valiant void woken battle. Otherwise, full price. Wide-eyed, Marge nods in appreciation at your tale. Now that is a story. For that, you can pass for a pittance. Over you go, and be sure to appreciate the bewitching views as you cross my magnificent bridge. Bears ahead. Honey bears, looks like. You want some honey? Yeah, can't have it. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. Bees are bees dead. Good thing too, cause, uh, honey. <laughs> Good God, I think it's ours. Ah, honey, bog off. It's the best honey ever. Makes a bear feel good. So bog off. It's ours. Clearly a man of wisdom and piety. Humility 